Hello, hello, hello. This is Kara Carter. Welcome to Mike Cobb's Offshore Investment Report. Mike is in the Azores in Portugal, putting together their gorgeous new residential resort development. And you remember two weeks ago, we said we're going to, over the course of the next six to eight weeks, review uh, Mike's incredible 15 key questions to ask when you invest in property offshore from this free guide. So we did, Mike, come in and let's talk about three and four. We did one and two already. <laughs> hey, we did. And, and it's good to be back. And, and you're right, Carter. I'm in the Azores and it is a past tense. We we uh, closed on the beautiful villa here yesterday. Uh, Fantastic. And, Congratulations. Yeah. Hey, that thank is you. great. Thank you. It is. It's very exciting, and we're we're, uh, we're we we went to a very special uh, celebration of the local community, uh, Rubia Grande. Uh, they have their uh, once a year. They have the festival of San Pedro. It's a big horse parade, the Cavajado. Uh We hung out with uh, the mayor and some other VIPs from uh, some of the various islands, and even from Slovakia. I mean, it was great. So had a great day today. And, and you rode a horse in it, right? Isn't that the one you were going to ride a horse in? It, it was. And the hat that I had to order and have decorated didn't show up on time for the woman to decorate it. However, uh, it will be ready for next year. So, so Carter, <laughs> if, if, if this, will, you know, next year, if you want to come and uh, be a part of the celebration, you'll see me riding in the horse parade. So, I, I uh, will not forget. You know that I will not forget. It's a sign I uh -huh. want to see. So the, the this Azores development, is mm -hmm. going to have uh, how many homes? Remind us how many homes. Well, so so it's an existing bed and breakfast. It was started in uh, 1687. I think I was saying 1697, but it was started in 1687 as a chapel and a small residence. And over the years, uh, until about 1850, when it completed, um, it is a 15-room bed and breakfast, a beautiful villa and a couple uh, outbuildings. And it's an operating bed and breakfast now for 27 years with a German couple. Uh, who are retiring and moving back to Germany. And we purchased the villa and an adjacent piece of property to, to build some additional uh, uh, residences on. But the, for the next year and a half, it will be operating as it is today as a bed and breakfast. It's a beautiful, beautiful property, historic. The rooms are historically decorated with antique furniture. Wow. I mean, it is, it's truly, truly a special place and has garred the, uh, uh, the, the, uh, that one of the owners and his wife, Gabriella, but as they say, uh, the building has soul and it really does. It, it, it's, it's a tremendous, tremendous property with a lot of history and a lot of character and a lot of soul. Uh, and so we're really, really pleased to have it. And, and again, operate as a bed and breakfast, and then we'll build uh, between 20 and 24 residences on an adjacent piece of property, and then integrate that into the overall uh, hospitality offerings uh, here. But, but the big, but the big, uh, New business for us is obviously opening up Europe and the Azores being a Portuguese yes. uh, 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 part of the Portuguese country. But these islands, it's almost halfway between the U.S. and 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 Portugal. It's about 900 miles from Lisbon. It's about right. 1,200 miles from Boston. And so it's four hour it's, flight, right? Just a four hour a four, flight. Yeah, about a four hour flight. Yeah. Uh, and United's flying daily from Newark, so it's very easy to get here in Boston. They you know, have daily flights as well. So yeah, and 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 the thing that's that's really have has a lot of people uh, thinking about and has really captured the imagination uh, is this golden visa program, which is a way to get European residency, which leads to citizenship in Europe, uh, for about uh, three hundred fifty thousand euro investment, uh, about four hundred thousand dollars. So uh, so so there'll be opportunities to to buy into the villa and the bed and breakfast. And then there'll also be opportunities to own one of the private residences uh, in about a year and a half, two years. So both of those become vehicles for people looking for a European residency that leads to citizenship. Uh, the Portuguese Golden Visa Program, it's, it's tremendous. So we'll talk about that someday. In fact, you should talk with Joel about that when you've got him on the program as well. Uh, yeah. That's really his area of specialty more than mine. So that's great. Yeah. Yeah. We'll talk yeah. to him about that. I'm, I'm going to interview him for this week's program very shortly. So that's great. Oh, good. And we'll talk, we'll okay. talk about the visa program. So that's great. But congratulations yeah. again. Thank I you. I can't wait Thank to see you. As soon as I get the invitation, I'll be over. Mike, I want you oh, to know. You that. have an invitation. In fact, <laughs> we, we, we're going to get, we're going to get back to you, Carter, with a, with a very special idea. In fact, let me mention it now and you can start to think on it. 
What we would like to do is have you put together a very small select group. Again, it's a 15 bedroom property. So you and 14 other singles or couples to come here sometime in January or February to have a very exclusive uh, uh, meeting with you. I will be here. Joel will be here. Probably Leslie, a few of the people you have on your programming. We will do a very, very exclusive event, but not expensive. Not expensive, but exclusive event it's for great. you, Carter, in the Offshore Club. And and so uh, I hope folks who are watching and listening uh, will reach out and, and ask for more information about that uh, because we'd love to have you come visit this, uh, the, the, you know, visit the islands. And yeah, exactly. Fantastic. You know what? I can think of a few in my head right now who I can guarantee are going to be part of it. So that's great. Okay. That's fantastic. That is great. Excellent. I can't wait. Thank you. The The... Two weeks ago, we started yeah. reviewing this free guide, okay? Yeah. All right? It's uh, incredible. It's it's a book. It's a book. As I told people, it's mm-hmm. not a pamphlet. It's 110 pages. Incredible right. consumer resource guide. Talks about the countries, every aspect of it. And we zeroed in on what you said in the, in the book, in the book, the 15 key questions asked before yes. you invest offshore, right? We did yep. one and two. The first one was, number one was, um, let me read it because it just went, <laughs> buy what you see. Buy what, buy you, what see. you see. Yeah. Very, right. very important. And we went into all that, you know, how you, know, you buy a promise, it might not come true. And right. the second was uh, the infrastructure. Yes. Check out. And so we covered those. And it was great. Mm-hmm. It was great. You did a great job. And I've got nice comments on it. So today we're going to do three and four. Okay. It's all right with you. We're going to do three yeah. and four. Sure. All right. Three and four. There we go, folks. There's how you're going to see them in the book there. All right. Folks, it's a great book. This is a great book. It even talks about the different countries. So it's a country guide as well. All right. Number three. And they're kind of interrelated. And and, and they're also kind of metaphorical. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because the they're about paying attention to details. Mm-hmm. Pay attention to details. And as we know, you know, the metaphor goes much wider. Pay attention to details in every aspect of your investment, but we're going to zero in on two. Okay. So number three, number three of your top 15, the, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm just so, this is so awful. I'm tempted to say, Mike, you remember it, will not you? <laughs> it's my, uh, my <laughs> I, I remember them, but maybe not in order. Okay. <laughs> is this, is it, is, is it, is there enough water pressure? And one of them, is there enough water pressure? And one of them is, is the house plumbed for hot and cold water? But I don't remember which one's three. I can't three believe and it. That four. is exactly three and four. You did. I was, in the I was right order? You on the spot and you nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. I got them in the right order, too. Excellent. All right. Yeah. So, so number three, um, is yeah. the house or condominium, as you just said, plumb for hot water? Yeah. Okay. Right. So let's talk about that's one of those details that you can overlook. I did when I bought my first home in Vista Bonita. Yeah. I never even occurred to me. And then right. I buy the home, right? I get in and I want to take a shower. I hate taking showers Ooh. anyway. I do it. I do it, folks. I, I don't like it. But I, I turn the, and there's the hot water. I'm like, what the hell's the hot water? You know, you know what I had to do to get hot water? You put a widow maker. <laughs> Did you? Did you put a widow maker in? A widow? Yes. There's a plug hanging down in my shower. And I'm like, no. I I always thought I would drown in the shower. I never thought I'd be electrocuted. But I had to plug it in and the shower hit. But it did make the water hot. But that's not the ideal, is it? No, no. And (laughs) no, it's not the ideal. Have a have a live electrical wires hanging out in your shower, you know, and I mean, you know, and I guess if you actually put it in correctly and installed it correctly, you know, it's probably pretty safe. But the way I've seen it, I mean, they just twist some wires again, put some electrical oh, yeah. tape on them, hanging there in the shower, oh, yeah. and the water spraying around. And I mean, you got to be kidding me. But anyway, that, that's what it is. Um, right. You know, Carter, it never occurred to you to check to see if there was hot water, right? And that's, I mean, that is one of those things. I like to say, we don't know what we don't know, right? But that's, you said it much more, you know, easily. It never occurred to me to check, right? Why would it occur to you to look to see if there's hot water? Because everywhere has hot water, doesn't it? Hot water. Yeah, of course. 
Not, <laughs> of course not, of course not. <laughs> you know, in many places. Uh, but, you know, it's just, these are the kinds of things that we don't know that we don't know. We don't know that we have to check. And, you know, one of the things, and, 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 and it's a little tricky because, you know, a lot of times they'll put nice faucets. In fact, I have a, a, a beautiful picture of one of the presentations I do of this condo. You know, almost, it was like $379,000 condo, uh, third or fourth floor condo overlooking the Pacific Ocean, three bedroom, three and a half bath, beautiful. I mean, mirrors, the lighting. I mean, this place was really nice, right? Million dollar condo or $5 million condo in California, right? For, for $400,000. Right. And, and so beautiful, you know, nice faucet, Delta, Moen, I don't know, $150 faucets. I mean, it was a nice faucet, right? Anyway, two, two handles, like all they all have. And, and if you turn on the right one, the cold water, there's water that comes out. And you turn yep. that off, you turn on the left one, water comes out. And you put your hand under it, you think, you know what? This is an empty condo. Nobody lives here. I don't know. I'm not going to stand here for 20 minutes and let the hot water get all the way from the other side over here. Right. So you turn it off. You say, yes, it has hot water because the left side work. But if you crawl down on your hands and knees, open up the cabinet and look underneath, what you actually see is a cold water pipe coming out of the wall with a Y splitter so that That's both it. of the taps up top have water. Now, who in their right mind, like you said, it would never occur to you that you would actually have to get on your hands and knees, look under the cabinet because we don't know what we don't know. Right. And yeah. so what, what what this particular example and these are just 15 examples of many things the point of this book is to point out 15 things of course right but to yeah. help change how we think right that's that's re and in fact the articles that go around the 15 questions are really about how we change how we think about things to be open to the possibility that's not what we think it is right and and we have to forget what we think we know so so there's like two two elements what we, you know we don't know what we don't know but we have to forget what we think we know, the assumptions, Excellent. right? And, so, and, 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 and both of those, when you throw those out the window, you end up with a more humble approach to property ownership or investment. It can be and or, right? And or investment, yeah. property ownership, home ownership. And, and when we're humble, then all of a sudden, we're open to the possibility that things aren't the way we think they are. And that we probably need to look at things a little differently and, and you know, and, and, and we should. So anyway, that 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 example is a very visual example. It's a great example. It's yeah. a great example because it yeah. happens over and over. Because because right. the fact of the matter is, it's like my wife, as you know, is from Honduras. Mm -hmm. She doesn't. She takes cold showers, yeah, even though right. Right. It, it just, yeah. you know, so to most them, of my, most of Nicaraguan friends take cold you, showers. They can afford hot water, but they still take a cold shower. I don't know. I mean, whatever. Oh, yeah. And and they're not going to tell you, let's say you buy the home from uh, a a person, a Latin American in Latin American Central. They're not going to say to you, oh, don't forget, it doesn't have hot water because. It doesn't occur there. to them to tell you either. Right? Well, no. So that's great. That's great yeah. advice. So, that, so that's number three. Number four is, is there enough fresh water and water pressure? Right. Okay. Right. And yeah. And, and that that's actually a development issue or developer issue. Uh, sometimes it's a municipal issue, right? If the, if, you, if the water system is a municipal water system, you know, are the pipes big enough? Do they have pressurization systems? To, what do they have to put pressure on the lines? Right. Uh, a lot of times, you know, if you're if you're buying a home or a condo, uh, it's actually the developer that has to spend the money. That's the reality. You have to spend the money to put the bigger pipes. And to put enough pressure on the line to deliver enough water pressure. And, and again, it's just one of those things that, that a lot of developers cut corners. I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, a little bit of water, a lot of water, who cares? I mean, you got water in your shower, don't you? Yeah, but it's a drip shower. Who likes it? I don't like a drip shower, right? I don't so like drip showers. Right. It's the same thing with the hot water. I mean, now you got to yeah. run two separate lines. You got to put electric electrical to support a water heater. You got to have a water heater. So, you know, the, the, there are cost issues. Right. And then there are also just, you know, I would call functional issues like the water pressure itself. Right. So anyway, the, the e that one's easy to test. I mean, you go in, you turn on, you know, the shower, the faucets and you flush the toilet and you see how's the water pressure. Right. It's a pretty simple test. Right. If, but again, we, we wouldn't necessarily think to do that. Right. But but we need to. You need to. It's one of those little things that makes little things that makes a big difference. Anybody yeah. who doesn't think the water pressure makes a difference needs to go back and watch the past episode of Seinfeld where the water pressure conked out in their apartment. And through the whole episode, 
their hair is always <laughs> dirty because they can't they can't get the soap out of their hair thoroughly. Uh, I swear that's to beautiful. I, I, I don't. I, I, you know, know, every time I, I take it. a shower, my God, I got to get all this soap. I don't want to look like Kramer, but yeah. but, but it is a factor. And and what about? Let me ask you this. Along the same line, I think a lot of people don't realize the toilet paper factor that mm. in a lot of places mm. in Central America, you cannot flush the toilet paper down the Correct. toilet. Correct. And, yeah. And, and, and it's, it's kind of gross. I mean, I actually it, don't, I, actually think? don't it, I think, yeah, I, I don't <laughs> actually put that example in, but, but I write about it in some of my, my articles and stuff. Right. So that, so that the pipes coming from the toilet into the sewer line are too small uh, for toilet paper. And, and, and also they also get clogged up from human waste occasionally more often than they would in the U S again, it's a, it's a cost issue, right? I mean, look, if you, if you shave that corner, you put your, your sewer pipe a little smaller, you, you don't put the water pressure, you only run cold water, you run your electrical you know, service, you know, like, at, you know, at 30 or 40 amp instead of 200 amp service, right? I mean, you just start to cut this corner, cut that, cut, 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 cut over the course of a whole condo or a home or a development, like you actually get the price comes down like 20 or 30%, right? And we get that. One of the reasons we came up with this book, Carter, is because yeah. I want people to compare apples to apples, the same apples to the same apples, right? Yes. Because I don't want to be compared to a guy down the road who's built a project that, yeah, it has water, it just doesn't have hot water. It has water pressure, but not really enough, right? You, can, yeah. you have to have a little basket for your toy, the dirty beside the toilet because you can't shit. Right? And if you say, well, that's a house and walls and windows and water and a toilet, and it sure does. But it's not like our product. It's not like our product. And so yeah. and why is this house, you know, instead of, you know, 200,000, it's, it's 130,000 or 140,000. Well, here are a whole bunch of reasons. Right. And so we wrote this book so that people would say, well, you know what? And look, by the way, if you don't care about that stuff, go buy the house up the street. I mean, if it'll serve your needs do it right but it is gross to have a little basket of toilet paper used toilet paper sitting by the toilet i think it's gross i'd rather just flush it you know but yeah it's pretty i was it, pretty shocked the first time i ever saw it i was i was pretty shocked i gotta yeah, be honest yeah 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 it, right and it's right. and the i'm glad you said about the the feeder systems of the water in the development now let's make it clear yeah. grand pacific at grand Bayman, the other mike cobb communities they have all the amenities and everything's taken care of. That's vital, yeah. folks. That's vital. What Mike just said, don't compare apples and oranges. Okay. Right. A couple, there's a reason. Maybe it's a couple dollars more. You're getting everything with it. Okay. Right. And get instead of getting shortchanged. Eat and that's vital. One of the developments I brought a home in 10 years ago, the the water pipes into the development broke at least once a week. Mm. At least once a week. I remember the first yeah. time I went out and the 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 Honduran guys were working on it. I said, uh, uh, it, "Cuando completo," right? I, and I think it means when will this be complete? Yeah, sure. I, but close enough. And I got <laughs> the most frightening answer you can get from a Latino worker, mañana. Mm. <laughs> it's like, oh my god! Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> Yeah, because that is so, not tomorrow. That is not tomorrow. That is not tomorrow. someday. Someday. Yeah. That means right. someday. Yes. And I always yeah. tell people that what you're going to find is in Central America, manana, they consider manana a term of urgency. <laughs> it's, it's, so so what you're saying is vital that at a at a Mike Cobb community, Grand Pacific, or Grand Bayman, uh, the new reef you're building in Honduras. Yep. Um everything is taken care of. You don't have to, yeah. you, you know, double check for yourself, crawl under the yes, bathroom please. sink and hold move. us. Absolutely. I always tell people, hold us to the same standard. In fact, in the consumer resource guide, we have a checklist and it's got, it's got, you know, like four columns, right? One of them's like ECI, then other, 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 and you can write yeah. the name of these other. So we actually encourage people to take that page and photocopy it or tear it out of the book or whatever. If you're shopping for properties, it's a checklist, right? Is there hot and cold water? How's the water pressure? Can you flush the toilet paper? That's not on there, but you should write that in as the you know question number six yeah. at the bottom, right? And yeah. right, and and just compare us to everyone else. And 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 if it's truly an apples to apples comparison, I can assure you we are very price competitive in the market. 
But if you Very compare us so. to a house that doesn't meet a North American's expectations and standards, oh, we're expensive. We are definitely expensive, right? But it's it's like comparing a rotten, you know, fallen on the ground cider apple to a beautiful, you know, Fuji apple, you know, in the grocery store. Yeah, they're both apples, but they're not even close to the same thing. So no. anyway, we, uh, yeah, and hold so, us to the same standards. Yeah. So it's just vital. It's just vital. So it is. Yep. So we covered three and four. And again, yeah. I'm stunned that you, I, I thought I was going to put you on the screen. You nailed the three and four. Folks, grab this. <laughs> it's free. Go to, uh, I think, just ecidevelopment.com. Yep. And, 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 and grab it. There we go. Folks, yeah. it's, it's a real book and it's a guidebook. And yeah. everything that Mike has told us here, we have, let's say it's three and four. We have 11 to go over the next yes, several we do. weeks. And these are, these are, this is great, Mike. Thank it you. Is. We hey, Carter, thank folks. you. Thanks for adjusting the schedule to, to help me on the Azores time. So I appreciate that and, and look forward to, uh, to getting you and a, that very small group of folks who want to be a part of a, uh, of a phenomenal week together with, uh, with folks who can really, you know, talk about a lot of different things from asset protection to, you know, property and property consultant to yep. visas, to, you know, to, to, to the political issues and plan B ideas that, that we might have as ways to, you know, help, help, uh, you know, help give ourselves that, that preparedness that we need, you know, in, in a serious situation that's probably facing us. So it'll be a great, great, uh, so Carter, uh, being a part of that with you. And we'll look forward to it. Mike, thank you. Thank you very much. Right. We will see you next week. There you go, folks. That's uh, numbers one, two, three, and four you've got out of this great free free guide that I urge you send for. Get it. Get it. And then you will become a wise investor like Mike Cobb, the Offshore Investment Oracle. Thanks for joining us. As I tell you every week, let's do this thing.